How you doing today, folks? Today I'm working on a job where I'm gonna be transplanting a lace leaf maple. And one of the reasons I created my channel was uh, years ago there was a show on TV uh, about landscaping. And I remember there was this one guy that was, um, he was transplanting a lace leaf maple. But because this guy said his area of expertise wasn't in, in uh, landscaping, he called a buddy of his who was an arborist to help him. And I watched uh, this TV show very briefly, and they basically took the bucket of a machine and tried to scrape out this lace leaf maple with about a six to eight foot head on it to transplant it. And I really cringed for that poor tree because that is just so not the way to do it. Yesterday I came out for two and a half to three hours and I dug around the base of the tree and I was just using a regular spade and a pick. There's a this is new construction, and in Connecticut, new construction means a lot of rocks because the builders use a lot of fill. There's not a lot of a good sites left. So it took a pick and a spade to just work my way around and dig down about a foot. And then once I was about a foot down, I started to cut under the tree. And then wherever I hit some roots, like over here, I tried to uh, grab my pruners and I cut them nice and clean. It is July, which is pretty much the worst possible time to transplant a tree, but I know lace leaf maples, they're just very tough trees. And even though I cut a ton of roots yesterday, there's absolutely no, um, there's no wilt in the leaves. And I did give it a good drink of water before I left yesterday. Now to tie up the top, I just took some twine. And usually when I'm transplanting shrubs, I'll just keep doing loops around it. But lace leaf maples, you're going to have better luck if you find a nice strong branch in the middle and you kind of do a bunch of U's. So I did three or four different U's and I could pick up this foliage. So what I'm going to do today is take my bobcat. I've got my pallet forks on pretty close together and I'm going to very gently, you know, and this is something that it takes some practice to, to get the technique down because I remember when I first did this uh, the first few times I was, I was pretty nervous. And I am still fairly nervous because you don't want that ball to fall apart. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna very gently get those forks under the tree and just kind of try to, try to slide the forks under the tree and then make sure that the tree is actually loose. There's not like one or two roots underneath there. And then we can just pick up the whole tree. And you'll usually know pretty quickly if it's, if it's loose or not by whether it's moving or if when you start picking up, a part of the ball seems to kind of be stuck to the ground. If I was moving this tree to another property, I would absolutely put some burlap around it. I'd tie the roots good. If the soil was uh, really sandy, I would, I would tie the roots and do some more to it. Uh, but here we've got kind of a sandy loam. We've got a lot of uh, fine roots in there. So this root, uh, root ball should stay together for us.
Well, we're all set, folks. I got the maple in the ground. I got a little bit of water on it right now. We're just gonna let it soak for a while. Uh, I'm very happy with the way the maple's, uh, the maple's coming in here. I see absolutely no sign of transplant shock. It's, it's like 80 degrees, it's middle of July, and it just amazes me how well lace leaf maples handle transplants. That is just a little bit more about what it looks like to transplant a tree or a shrub. Uh, I'm gonna put a link at the end of this video to a video I made about the, the steps I take to transplant a tree or shrub, but I just thought maybe some of you guys would like to watch, uh, watch the way I do it. Thanks for watching today, folks. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. Take care.